All right, welcome back to Canva Creatives Hub. Today we're gonna to be looking at uh, Canva for video generation, and we're gonna be creating a YouTube video using Canva AI, so let's jump in. First we need a script, so I'm gonna come over here and let's just say, write a short um, 60 second children's story for a eight year old. And we'll just let uh, ChatGPT create something once upon a time, a magical forest, there lived a blah, 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 and so forth. So we've got this little script. We're gonna go and have some fun with this. So we need something once upon a time in a magical forest, there lived a tiny curious squirrel named Squeaky. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that part right there. And we're gonna go into Canva. And once you're in Canva, you'll go to Magic Studio, you'll scroll down and there's a lot of different video options, right? You can uh, create videos in a number of different ways in Canva. Today we're gonna be just looking at a couple of different ways, but right here, we're gonna go over here and text to video. I'm gonna go ahead, click that and press okay. So it's gonna open up. And right now we are in a nine by 16. So this would be great, great for YouTube shorts or it'd be great for uh, TikTok. Now we can change, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in the box right over here, but we can change that in a minute. We can change the uh, layout over here, but I'm gonna go ahead and put that in right here and just see what it can come up with for us. I'm gonna say generate right here. And you do have to wait a minute while that's creating. So after a minute or two, it returns a video back for us. And check this out, we've got this nice AI squirrel right here, and we can go and just create a new scene and we can uh, drag and drop this on to the scene right over here. And then what you would wanna do is you would want to just move this up like so and reposition this, and then we can kind of move this to the center of the screen for this nine by 16 video that we're creating. So then now along the timeline, I'm gonna go ahead and just remove these couple standard ones that start off as a default, and then we can push play and see that we have this nice video. Pretty cool stuff, right? So then we can take a couple um, more scenes. So if we go back to ChatGBT, we can grab some more right over here and go back in, open up a new scene, and then we're gonna go and create a new video right over here. You could continue to generate again, so then it will just continue to kind of create based off of that one sentence, or we can say generate right here. So you would go through this process, create as many videos as you need. You will be using um, AI credits. Uh, if you're on the pro plan, you get 500. I'm not sure how many you get on the free plan, but we're gonna go ahead and let this continue right here. While we're waiting on that, I'm gonna use 11 labs and you can continue to create for all of the text right here. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and just create for this first paragraph so you can just see the steps on how to do this. I'm gonna paste this into 11 labs and then I'm gonna go over and use my um, account where I have a professional um, a cloned uh, voice right over here. And it's my professional cloned voice. I'm gonna move the dial up to about a 60 right over here and see how that sounds. And then I'm gonna move the exaggeration up. I'm not sure where I want to go. Um, we're gonna go with maybe like a 5% right there and just see what this is gonna sound like when I push generate real quick. So we're generating the AI. This is AI uh, text to speech, but it's gonna be a really good one. Canva also has some that we're gonna be looking at as well. Um, they have some other ones. Magical forest, there lived a tiny curious squirrel named Squeaky. Squeaky loved exploring and often went on little adventures. One sunny morning, he found a mysterious glittering stone that sparkled like the stars. He picked it up and suddenly he began to float. Squeaky was amazed. So then you can push the download button. We've got our file and we'll go and we can use a couple of different things to um, video editors to put these together. You can use CapCut, which is free. You can use Camtasia. You can use all kinds of different ones right here. But let's go back into our Canva real quick and see what we've got over here. So we have this next one right over here. It created that shiny rock or whatever that we're um, trying to create, right? So I'm going to click on that scene over here and then I'm going to click on that and then we're going to go ahead and uh, make this bigger like so and then just move that up. We're telling a story Like so and then we've got our nice video right there. Okay, so we've got about an eight second video We can continue adding more layers to this if we wanted to but for now I'm gonna go ahead and just push the share button and download this uh, mp4 right over here mp4 download, okay, that's downloading the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna go into Camtasia 
and import this real quick. Once our video is downloaded, we will go back in. And remember, you can go to CapCut and use a similar video editor for free. I have a paid Camtasia account, so that's what I like to use for video editing. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and import our media, which we have the movie and then we have the uh, voiceover. I'm going to push open right over here. We have our two resources or assets right here. I'm going to drag the video <clears throat> on track one and then I'm going to drag the audio on track two. And don't worry, we can fix this up. We have our video and our um, audio right over here. So there's a couple of different things that we can do. We know that the audio is a little fast and you'll notice that that's my voice actually really cool. Um, it's unique and it's a way that you will be able to most likely pass any kind of manual test because it is an actual uh, unique voice, right? It doesn't sound computer generated, but it is a little fast and we can't control that speed inside of 11 labs. So what I'm going to do is um, we're going to go over here to the audio effects and go to clip speed and throw that on there. And then we're going to go over here and just shorten it to about 0.75 and push enter. You'll notice it extends it right there. And then we can go and test and see what that sounds like. Magical forest, there lived a tiny, curious squirrel named Squeaky. Squeaky loved exploring and often went on little. Perfect. So it's a little too slow for me. So I'm actually going to go with about a 0 0.88 and I'm going to try that now. The mysterious glittering stone that sparkled like the stars. I think that's really good. So the next what you can do is we can add more videos, right? In this case, I would recommend adding more videos uh, to this. But for now, for the sake of, show, of finishing this tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over this and then we're going to just extend this out right here by clicking the add clip speed right here. And then we can hover over this right here and we can drag this it to match the audio. And then we can add a little bit of um, audio to this if we wanted to. And then what I'll do is I'll go over to like Pixabay or something like that and get some children's music download for uh, royalty free. And we'll just go download something. So we'll go download this real quick. And it, we just downloaded it. We'll go back into our video editor and I'll go over to media and then we'll go and add this media real quick, import media. And then I'll grab that uh, music and we'll throw it um, on here. We will go and add a new track and then we'll grab and grab that and put it on top. And then we're going to want to definitely turn the gain down on this audio um, quite a bit to about maybe right there. And then we're going to go and see how this sounds and we can watch the video. Once a forest, there lived a tiny, curious squirrel named Squeaky. Squeaky loved exploring and often went on little adventures. One sunny morning, he found a mysterious glittering stone that sparkled like the stars. He picked it up and suddenly he began to float. Squeaky was amazed. Okay, perfect. So you can see that if you just spent about 20 minutes, you'd be able to quick uh, create these uh, quick one minute videos. So this right here is only about 18 seconds. Uh, you're going to want to spend uh, most of your time is going to uh, be in the video creation process. You can also fill in some images and so forth. You'll be um, get a little bit uh, easier or quicker results. So um, switch between video and images. Use Canva. Um, in order to create um, all the assets that you need for your video, download them, bring them into another video editor to, so you can fine tune things a little bit better. And then you'll be off to the races. Go build a uh, YouTube shorts, um, short stories channel. You can apply this method to anything. You can ap apply this to any kind of uh, niche that you want to get into. But uh, Canva makes it really easy for us to be able to go and create these uh, unique videos using their unique uh, video AI creations. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more Canva tutorials. See you next time.